right, so we got a we got a doozy to do now. We've got the uh, Auto Moblox male figure, and this particular figure is going to introduce quite a few new features to the uh, to the Autodesk uh, skills that you will you will have by the time you're done with these activities. Uh, in addition to the slice graphics and arc uh, tools which you've used before, we're also going to be using different types of extrusions. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see the Revolve feature one more time. So this starts on page five, and it's the Automoblox mail uh, part. So of course we're going to be in our Automoblox project. So let's make sure that we go to a new uh, part. And uh, if you're a new part, you're in. You should be in the uh, Automoblox project already if you were working and following this in sequence. Okay. So let's start with the uh, the, the easiest portion of this particular um, part, and that's the the base. The base is really easy, right? Look at this uh, square that is point, uh, sorry, 575 on edge all around. And I could just put both dimensions or I can apply equal constraints. Oops, type it incorrectly, Mr. Copyright. And, uh, or I could just you know, add two dimensions as I see fit. So we'll fix it and we'll extrude it. And we're going to extrude this a distance of 0.3 inches. We'll go up 0.3 inches, which is already is telling us to go up. That's cool. 0.3 inches, and we're good. Now we'll place a sketch, and we're gonna, I'm just following the directions that are on here already. We'll place a sketch on here, and we're going to use an ellipse. Now remember, an ellipse has two axes. It's got a major and a minor axis. So we're going to use, um, on top of here, we'll locate this dimension in just a second, but we're going to kind of put a sketch of it on here. And then we're going to dimension the location and the minor axes of this particular ellipse. And we're going to actually locate the center of this. Um, I should have just used the midpoint of here in a second. So I got to do 0.575 divided by 2. And remember, you can just you know let it do the work for you. It's nice, right? You don't have to you know enter the calculation in if you don't want to. And uh, we're going to also put 0.575 divided by 2 on here. So the center of the ellipse is now there. Notice I didn't quite make it you know coincident to the center of the origin and the axis. Oh well. So that's okay. It doesn't really uh, matter on that. So okay. So now just make sure that you're using the correct points when you're doing your dimensions. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a minor axis dimension. Uh, minor axis of course is the shorter of the two. So if I click the ellipse, oh I'm sorry, it wants the major axis first, so 0.236. Put that on there. There we go. And then it wants the minor axis to go with that. So we'll do um, the ellipse, and there we go. And it kind of, you know, depending on the direction we go, it reference the correct spot. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you put that top or bottom. Remember, the minor axis is the shorter axis, uh, depending on the direction of the ellipse. So the ellipse is on there. Now here's the fun part. We're going to extrude the ellipse to a value of 0.115, but we're going to actually then um, create what's called a tapered extrusion. And we're going to show you in just a second what that looks like. So here's the uh, feature we're extruding. And we're extruding that 0.115 according to the directions, 0.115. And we're good. OK. Now we're going to, again, perform a tapered extrusion to do the uh, part of the body. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a sketch on the top. And we're going to create uh, an offset ellipse from the geometry. So we're going to offset that by. 0.5, 0 0.05, excuse me. And we just do that by clicking the two, whoops, let's try again. Dimension by clicking the distance between them. I almost got it exactly, look at that. Uh, then we do 0 0.05. And now the part does not need to be an exact dimension, it's a visual representation of what's used to develop uh, the skill sets, create a new sketch on top of the surface, and project the ellipse with the geometry. Create a larger offset ellipse, now apply the dimension of the offset as shown in the image below. So we're going to, again, create an extrusion. We're going to create both. We're extruding both of them. But we're going to extrude, and we're going to go, let's say, 0.84 inches based on the way the directions are. But we're going to use a taper. OK, now what's a taper? We're going to be angling this. So as you see, what, let me just show you the preview. When you add degrees, you're making this sort of project outward a little bit more every time. If you were to do, like, say, a 45 degree angle, the uh, angle of extrusion would be 45 degrees, and you would get this very large, almost 
you know, exaggerated thing, but I think, you know, a tapered angle of eight to 10 degrees would be just fine. Okay, so there we go. We got our tapered extrusion on there, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this, uh, use this particular extrusion. Now, we're gonna save the file. This is gonna be the end of part one. There's a lot more to do with this particular part, uh, but we'll, we'll leave it at this for now. Uh, that just kinda introduces you to the concept of a taper extrusion and what that means. Uh, by the way, I just wanna, while I'm saving, if, if you're still listening, um, if you were to, um, if you were to use a negative angle, it actually would cause it to converge uh, as you go further. Uh, so you could create cones or, or other features that have a convergent point on here as well, uh, if you choose. You can also do the same thing with the revolve feature uh, if you want. So name it Automoblox JC, mark your initials of course, save it, and then we'll go to part two and we'll continue to use uh, some more Autodesk features. Have a nice day.